Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of News Bulletin. In the headlines today, Yoga sessions organized by Sale Rockella Steel Plant marked 9th International Yoga Day evokes enthusiastic response. Abhudaya, a JO induction and familiarization program held at Sale RSP. And in our Ajadika Amrit Mahotsav 2.0 series, today's personality is Sri Surendra Mahanti. Now the news in detail. The yoga sessions organized by Sail Rorkela Steel Plant to mark the 9th International Yoga Day on 21st June evoked enthusiastic response with more than 1000 residents of the Steel City joining the exercise in the morning session. The mass yoga sessions were organized in the morning as well as evening at the Biju Patnaik Hockey Stadium Sector 6. Besides this, yoga sessions were organized at different community centers and departments inside the steel plant. Mr. S. R. Suryavangsi ED Works RSP inaugurated the yoga session organized at Biju Patnak Hockey Stadium. Mr. P. K. Satpati, Executive Director PNA, Mr. P. K. Sahu, Executive Director Projects, Mr. Somnath Tripathi, Executive Director MM, Mr. B. K. Hota, Executive Director MNHS, and many other senior officers of RSP attended the session. People from all age groups, including CISF personnel and regular yoga practitioners from different yoga centers being run at community centers of RSP across the township, performed yoga in this program. In his inaugural address, the EDW said, Yoga is a way of living and that aims towards a healthy mind in a healthy body and it's an essential ingredient for the well-being of the mankind, exhorting everyone to incorporate yoga in daily life, Mr. Suryavansi said, in occupational lives like ours, it's highly necessary to practice yoga regularly, not only to improve physical health, but also to maintain mental well-being so as to lead a fulfilling life. The session was conducted by the yoga teachers of RSP's yoga centers led by Mr. Akrura Martha. Yoga Guru and President Patanjali Yoga Samiti Sundargar. Surya Namaskar and a set of aerobics and yoga presented by the yoga practitioners of Sector 6 and Sector 2 community centers was another highlight of the program. Earlier, Mr. R.K. Varma, GMHA Sports and Airport, welcomed the gathering. The program was anchored by Ms. Sabitri Sahu, Executive Assistant, CLC. A similar yoga session was held at the community centers in sector 22 in which about 50 persons took part. The sessions were coordinated by Mr. R. K. Varma with the support of Mr. Raghunandan Pari, Assistant Manager, Sports Cell. Two more sessions were scheduled to be held in the evening at both the venues. Another yoga session was held at the Peace Room of ED Works office. More than 20 employees led by Mr. Dhirendra Mishra, GM in charge personnel works, took part in a session conducted by Mr. S. Chanda, GM Blast Furnaces. Yoga sessions were also organized at Central Fire Station Department of RSP in which more than 50 employees took part. A yoga session was also organized at Deepika Mahila Jagriti Sangsthan, Sector 2. It is worth mentioning that the pr to promote yoga and inspire the residents to lead healthy lives, RSP has been managing 50 yoga centers which are operating regularly at different community centers of the still township. Abu Daya, the elevation uh, to success, an induction and familiarization program for the newly promoted junior officers was organized at the Gopabandhu Auditorium of Sale Rorkela Steel Plant on 21st June 2023. Mr. S. Suryavangsi ED Works presided over the program. Along with him, present on the dais were Mr. P. K. Satpati ED PNA, Mr. P. K. Sahu ED Projects, and Mr. Somna Tripathi ED MM. It is worth mentioning here that the program was meant for 163 employees who have been promoted as junior officers. Congratulating them on 
qualifying the tough competitions, Mr. Suryavansi exhorted them to become effective leaders in their workplaces by taking over the new role and responsibility with a learning attitude, right communication, making right decision and acquiring a 360 degree view on everything. It works also discuss the different verticals one has to work upon to make RSP the best performing plant. Mr. P. K. Satpati urged all to reshape their attitude, mindset and thought so as to ensure environmentally sustainable and safe steel production. Speaking to the technically sound and experienced junior officers, Mr. P. K. Sahu motivated all to take up the ownership so as to make sale a benchmark for others. Wishing everyone a great career ahead and a successful training program, Mr. Tripathi stressed upon the need of knowledge of PCPs and related guidelines for better procurement and producing low cost quality steel. The program commenced with the rendition of national anthem followed by lighting of the ceremonial lamp. At the outset, Ms. Raja Sri Benaji, CGM HRD, welcomed the gathering and encouraged all to make a difference. Mr. K. K. Jaiswal, AGM HRD, presented a brief on the four different phases of six months training program. To mark the International Yoga Day, a 14 minutes yoga session was held wherein everyone took part enthusiastically. The session was conducted by Mr. Babula Nahak, Senior Manager, CP2. Mr. P. Patra, J.O., represented the junior officers and thanked the management for their selection and assured to live up to its expectation. Mr. K. K. Jaiswal proposed a formal vote of thanks and coordinated the event. As a part of the Ajatika Amrit Mahotsav 2.0 celebrations, Sailorkala Steel Plant is presenting a series of news on eminent personalities of Orissa and today we remember Sri Surendra Mahanti on his birth anniversary. He was born in Purushattampur village in Katak district in 21st, on 21st June in 1922. In the post-independent Oriya story literature, he is known as unrivaled story writer. He has created valuable stories from the unknown pages of mythology, history and Buddha Jataka. He wrote around 50 books belonging to different genres. His well-known books are Maha Nagari Raratri, The Night of the Metropolis, Moranara Mrittu, The Death of a Swan, Andha Diganta, The Dark Horizon, The Maha Nirvana, The Final Departure, Yaduvangsa O Anyanya Galpa, The Aduvangsa and Other Stories, Rajdhani O Ananya Galpa, The Capital and Other Stories, Krishna Chura, The Gulmohar, and Ruti O Chandra, The Bread and the Moon are his famous short stories. He was president of Orissa Sahitya Academy from the year 1981 to 1987. He received Kendra Sahitya Academy Award in 1969 for his creation Nila Shaila. He received Orissa Sahitya Academy Award in 1957 for uh, Savuja Patra O Dhushara Golapa and in 1987 for Potha O Prutubi. In the year 1980, he got Sarala Award for his book uh, Kula Bruddha. He left for his heavenly abode on 21st December 1990. Here we come to the end of today's news bulletin. Namaskar.